Lahat tayo ay gustong maging masaya. Sino ba naman ang hindi? Lahat tayo ay gustong maging masaya. And because of this, we are all in search of it. Nagtanong ako sa iba kung ano ang magpapasaya sa kanila. And some of them, their answer is ang pagkakaroon ng maraming, maraming, maraming pera. Kapag meron ako nito, ah, doon ako magiging masaya. Para sa iba, happiness is equated with material wealth. Is it? Totoo ba to? Ano sa palagay ninyo? Kung ito ang sagot, bakit maraming mga sikat na tao who live a life not only of fortune but also of fame ang malungkot pa rin. And unfortunately, some of them committed suicide. Kung tutuusin, nasa kanila na ang lahat. Milyon-milyon ang pera sa bangko. ekta ektarya ang lupa. Nakakapunta sila kung saan man nila gustong pumunta. And yet, Marami pa rin sa kanila ang nagsasabing malungkot pa rin ako. So, anong ibig sabihin nito? Having a material wealth is not a guarantee. The quest for happiness may often be misled because the world presents a topsy-turvy map of the road to happiness and that map leads to materialism but wait the Lord wants our happiness too Jesus is presenting us another map and this map is the road less traveled Nevertheless, this leads to true happiness which is equated to a true relationship with the Lord. This map leads to the kingdom of heaven. Batid at sinabi ni Jesus that the journey is not easy. It has many bumps. It has many challenges along the way. This was in reference to the rich man in our gospel who could not give up his treasures. That rich man was actually invited to follow the map of Jesus to true happiness, but he declined the glorious offer because he held on to his wealth. That's why Jesus said in our gospel that is, it is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. One thing for sure, hindi masama ang maging mayaman o maghangad ng yaman. Hindi masama po ito. Pero sana, huwag kalimutan ang higit na yaman, ang tanging yaman, ang ating relasyon sa Diyos na papuntang langit. Baka kasi mabulag tayo sa mga peking kayamanan na maaaring maglalayo sa atin sa Diyos. At isa na nga dito ay ang pera. Sa sobrang pagnanasa, sa sobrang pagkagustol sa pera, ng maraming pera, 
ay baka magdulot sa atin ng paglanakaw at panlalamang sa iba. At baka makalimutan natin kung ano ang mas mahalaga kung kaya't hinahamon tayo stay focus not just focus but stay focus 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 because focus determines our reality focus on the map that leads to the pearl of great price God created us kingdom in heaven and not to be permanently imprisoned by the riches in this world. Amen.